In this video, I want to show you how to make a slicer that's going to update more than one pivot table and more than one pivot chart. So we have some great data here to make a pivot table from. And so we're going to make a quick pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pick on the insert menu up above insert. Now I have other videos that will help you go further with the pivot table. So I'm just going to make a quick pivot table here. And then in this case, typically you just click on OK on this window. And what's going to happen in this case, it took us to a different sheet. Notice how I'm on sheet two now. And my field names are over on the right. So I'll just make a simple pivot table here. I'll pick on office and drag it to the rows. And I'll pick up total and drag it to the values. Like I said, if you want to go further with the actual pivot tables, I have many videos uh, about that as well. Now, in this case, I'm going to make a second pivot table from the same data. So I'll pick on the pivot table data sheet again and just make a second pivot table. I'll pick on the insert menu and then pivot table again. Now, in this case, I'm going to put it onto an existing sheet. For the location, I'm going to come down here and click on sheet two and just click on a cell over here, you know, a different cell on the same sheet with the other pivot table. I'm going to click OK. Okay, now notice how we have the second pivot table on the same sheet. This time I'll do it by airline. So I'll pick up airline and drag it to the rows and I'll pick up total and drag it to the values. Good. So make a chart come from this pivot table. I'm just going to click on this pivot table, pick on the pivot table analyze menu up above and we'll have a pivot chart. And we'll just use the column chart. And then I'm going to position this over here and then I'll have another chart based on the offices. So I'll click on the office, the office pivot table, pick on the pivot table analyze menu. And I'll say pivot chart and again we'll use the column. Good. And I'll move this chart over here. Okay. So now we're going to add a slicer into the mix. Slicer is a new way to do a filter. So I'm going to click on the office pivot table. I'll pick on pivot table analyze and I'll say insert slicer. And then your slices will come from your fields. Actually, I like to have one for the destination and one for commission. And I'll click OK. So I'll move the commission slicer over here and resize it. And I'll move the destination slicer right below it. Good. Of course, I can, uh, you know, reposition some of these items to make it have more room. So I'm just going to highlight the pivot table and actually drag it over here. But give it some more room. Good. OK. Now I'm going to add something else on the screen that's called a timeline. And a timeline is a slicer that will work with a date range. So again, I'm going to pick on the office pivot table. I'll pick on pivot table analyze and I'll pick on insert timeline. A timeline is always going to be based on a date field. So I'll pick on flight date and click OK. And we'll move the timeline down to here. And by the way, with the timeline, notice how it's organized by month. So I'll pick on the word months and then pick on the word year. So now it's organized by year. OK. So if I pick on Chicago on this slicer window, notice how it's changing the office pivot table and the office chart, but it's not changing the airline pivot table or the airline chart. In fact, none of these slicers are changing the airline chart and the airline pivot table, not even the timeline. So here's the step I really want to show you. I'm going to get all the records back by picking on the X's of the slicer windows and the timeline windows. All right. Notice how everything is back, but the airline pivot table or the chart did not change at all. So I'm going to click on the commission slicer and make sure that it's selected. And then I'm going to pick on the slicer menu up above. And then you come over here. The important choice is going to be the report connections. I'll pick on report connections. Now I can choose as many of these as I need to. Now this particular workbook has many pivot tables in other sheets. I can actually choose all the different pivot tables from the different sheets. But uh, in this case, these are the pivot tables on this particular sheet. It's going to be pivot table one and pivot table two. 
but I really could choose more than that so that that slicer would update all of those pivot tables even on the different sheets. I'm gonna click OK. Let me do that for the other slicer window. I'm gonna click on the destination slicer. I'll pick on the slicer menu up above. I'll pick on report connections. Same kind of thing. I'm gonna make it update the pivot tables on this sheet, but I can actually choose all of those. It could be on the same sheet or in different sheets. You can update all of those pivot tables at the same time using this screen. I'm gonna click OK. And we'll do the same thing for the flight date, uh, the flight date timeline. Now when I click on that, now the menu up here says timeline. And then I'll pick on report connections and same kind of thing. So in this case, these two pivot tables are called pivot table one and two. Obviously I could pick more than more than those if I needed to. I'm gonna click OK. Now let's try it. So on the commission slicer, I'll pick on yes. And now I saw how the office numbers changed and the numbers on the um, airline pivot table changed and the charts changed as well. And now the slices are updating uh, all of the pivot tables and all of the charts at the same time. I think that's a really powerful feature. It just makes your slicers even more powerful. So you just click on the slicer, you pick on the slicer menu, or when we picked on the timeline, it's a timeline there. There's a lot of things you can change about the slicer, but this one is called the report connections. And then you pick the appropriate pivot table so that it's gonna update. So that's how you can make a slicer and a type uh, timeline update more than one pivot table and more than one chart at the same time.